I've been going through the standing committee on public safety and national security, going through the entire thing. It's rich. There's so many great clips in there. There's so much information that you're not hearing anywhere else. Got my dog over here. We're going to play with him outside in a little bit. It's being stuck to the computer. But I'm glad I did because we found out where the money is, where the give, send, go money is. It's really key stuff. It's really important. And everybody's been wondering and asking questions. I've just got my dog right over here. There he is. And then um, I'm trying to figure out, right? People have been saying, well, where's that money at? I don't know where it is. Does Tamara Leash have it? There's a lot of rumors too. People are saying, hey, that money's being uh, embezzled. I've heard that rumor before. Well, we find out right here in the clip where it is. The Give, Send, Go has it. It's in a U.S. bank account. Where Where is the money today? I understand there's a court order freezing the, the, the funds. Uh, I understand that... Uh, there's roughly $10 million raised through Give, Send, Go for this uh, this project. Where is that money today, and will it be refunded? Our, the, the funds are being held legally here in the U.S. in a bank account. Um, we are examining what the options are for how to proceed forward. Obviously, every legal method is being looked at by legal teams. Um, what We want to do what is legal, what is right to ensure funds even with their intention, go to the recipient. And if that's not possible, they would be refunded back to the, the givers. Is there a court order preventing you from delivering the funds to the intended uh, party, the free, Freedom Convoy? Yeah, there, there are legal injunctions in place against it, which is why it hasn't happened. We haven't, we haven't made attempts to skirt the law and the injunctions. Uh, recipients of the, the two campaigns in question, their accounts were shut down legally um, under in in um, in conjunction with the court order. So Gibson Go has done everything that's been legally required of them uh, of us so far in in this process, and uh, and we will continue to do so. Why wouldn't you just refund all the uh, contributions uh, the way? Um uh, GoFundMe did? That's a, that's a great question. And it's really uh, an appropriate question. And it's on the table. It's obviously this has been an ongoing situation that's rapidly changing. The response of the government has rapidly changed. So there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of variables. It's not an easy situation. We don't, um, we don't take it lightly. And we also don't, don't uh, we understand that everybody here has, has, it's, it's been somewhat of an issue and a, and a stress in trying to figure out and navigate it well. We'll be making decisions over the next several days about how we want to proceed in conjunction with legal counsel and what's happening in the legal cases surrounding these issues. So the Ontario government did not reach out to you either when they froze your funds. So how did you find out from the Ontario court that your funds were frozen? Social media and, and mainstream news. And, and the funds are in a U.S. bank, and so they're, they're not necessarily frozen. They cannot get to the recipient on the ground in Canada at this in this moment. Um, but so you want to support us at the war campaign? Well, there's a couple ways. There's the actual newsletter, which you can get from wcfreedom.com. Uh, that's a great way to stay in touch with everything we're up to. Of course, there's also uh, there's some projects that we're involved with over here. Let me see over here. Well, specifically that I'm... Um, Check this out over here. I'm the editor in chief for this. this is Bolt Maker. Fantastic post post apocalyptic pre Armageddon action fantasy. You see that I memorized that that line right there. Check it out. I'm a comic book guy, so you can you can get into that right there. This is written by my good brother Hanzo. It's it's amazing, man. It, it's fantastic. You're gonna love it. Get Hanzo wrote this book. Uh, here's the back of it. Here, that's an epic her, uh, heroic tale. So check that book out there. Love this stuff. It's shipping right now. So check that out. Of course, I'm looking for a job too. I was fired. I was chief technical officer. I was fired, uh, you know, being part of all this kind of stuff. Uh, but I, I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy to do this. And, um, you know, we're doing it for a reason. So that's it. And speaking of the job thing, uh, my name is Rohan Kumar Paul. You can find me on LinkedIn. My email is also inside the description. I'm a 20 plus year programmer, worked with startups my entire life. Somehow, uh, this whole, you know, Canadian government went way out of whack. So that that's why I'm here. It, it's I've just been working and raising my family, spending time with the dog. Uh, and but I, don't ask me how, but this is where we're at now. If you got any leads, let me know, please. I need to get some work. I still good for a bit, but I need to get some work. I want to work. I've worked all my life, never really taken any breaks. And I want to get back to work like everybody does. But a lot of people lost a lot of things. I don't know. Maybe I should make a site or something 
for people who are uh, for who are out of work because of what's happened and maybe I should put that up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm just glad we found out where the money is. And also, it goes to show, don't believe all the rumors you hear that money wasn't embezzled. It's, it's awesome. I'm happy. Thank you. And I'll, I'll put some more clips up today, too.